Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the radios for the A10. There are two versions of the A10C in DCS. There's the original C and the C2. Now both of them have three radios. These bottom two radios are the same in both planes, however they do have different top radios. I will be going over all the radios. First let's start with this bottom one. This is a VHF FM radio. The power switch is here. Off is off. TR or transmit receive is on. DF is direction finding, but in DCS it doesn't do anything. This switch on the left has four positions. Emergency FM and AM will tune you to emergency guard frequencies. Manual allows you to manually type in the frequency you want to talk on. And preset allows you to talk using this switch here, where you can choose which preset channel you want to use. There are 20 different preset channels, and you can program them in the mission editor or in the cockpit, and I will show you how to do that. This switch here controls the volume, and the T-tone switch doesn't do anything. Okay, first I'll show you how to talk on a manual frequency. You just put this to TR, and you put this to manual, and then you just type in the frequency you, you want to talk on, and then you're good to go. If you want to talk on a preset frequency, you just put this to preset, and then you choose the channel that you want to talk on. If you want to load a certain frequency into a channel, let's say I wanted to change the frequency on channel 8. What you would do is select the channel you want to load the frequency into, then put this to manual mode. Then you put in the frequency you want to load in. Let's say I wanted to load in 59. Then you click the load button and it will load it in. Then when you want to talk on it, you just put to preset mode and you can talk on this channel. Okay, now for the middle radio. This is a UHF radio. Both is the same thing as main, except whenever it's on both, you can also listen to the guard frequency. ADF is automatic direction finder, but it doesn't do anything. The T-tone switch doesn't do anything. The squelch switch you should keep on. If you turn it off, then you will hear a uh, static -y noise. Manual allows you to manually type in the frequency you want to talk on. Preset allows you to dial in this switch and choose which preset channel you want to talk on. There are 20 channels just like this radio and also just like this radio you can customize the channels in the mission editor or in the cockpit. Guard tunes you into the emergency 243 guard frequency. Status doesn't do anything. Test display illuminates all the segments and the digital displays. If you want to talk on a manual frequency, you put the power switch to both or main. Then you put this switch to manual and you just type in the frequency you want to talk on. If you want to talk using a preset channel, you put the you put the power switch to main or both. Then you put this switch to preset and then you just choose the preset channel you want to talk on. If you want to load a frequency into a preset channel, you put the power switch to main or both. You put this switch to preset. You click on this cover to open it. Then you choose the channel that you want to load the frequency into. Then you choose the frequency that you want to load into the channel. And then you click the load button. And I forgot to mention the volume switch right here. Okay, now we're going to go to the top radio. This is where it's different between the two planes. Right now, I'm in the A10C2, so for me, it's the ARC-210 radio. However, if you are in the original A10C, there will be a different radio here, which I will go over in a second. First, let's start with this ARC-210. The ARC-210 radio is also a relatively new feature to DCS, so over time, the developers may add different features and change things. So if you're watching this tutorial a long time after it came out, then take everything I say with a grain of salt. This is the power switch on the left. Off is off. Transmit receive guard and transmit receive are the same thing, except with the guard position, you will be able to listen to the guard frequency. Also, when you turn it on, it takes a couple seconds to power everything on. ADF doesn't do anything. Change preset is for changing the preset frequencies. Test and zero pull don't do anything. Then there's this switch over here. There's ECCM and ECCM master. I'm not sure if these work or not because it's not documented in the manual right now. Preset allows you to talk on a preset channel. Manual allows you to talk on a manual frequency. MAR does not do anything right now. 243 tunes it to the 243 emergency guard frequency. 121 tunes it to the 121.5 guard frequency. Most of the time you'll probably be in manual or preset. The squelch switch is the same thing as on this radio. If you turn it off, you'll hear a static noise. The brightness switch here controls the brightness of the screen. These three switches here do different functions depending on what screen you're on. I'm not sure what most of the functions are because it's not in the documentation yet. The four buttons on top don't do anything. The menu button, if you click it, it will take you to the main menu, and there are a bunch of different menu pages, but I don't know what they do because it's not in the manual yet. If you accidentally click the menu button and you want to get back, you can just click HQ menus at the top and then click exit. The transmit receive button doesn't appear to do anything right now. The AM FM button allows you to switch between AM and FM. And the offset button only works if you are in manual mode. If you do that, you can change these decimals over here. Okay, so if you want to talk on a manual frequency, you put the power switch to TR or TRG. Then you put this switch to manual, and then you just dial in the frequency that you want to talk on. If you want to talk on a preset channel, 
you put this switch to preset and then you change the channel knob to talk on the channel that you want. If you want to program a frequency into a channel, you put this switch to change preset, then you put this switch to preset, then you go to the preset channel that you want to change the frequency, then you put in the frequency that you want, then you click the load button at the top, then you put the power switch back to TR, and now you can talk on this frequency. There are also some other functions for the ARC-210. On your heads-up display on the top left, you can see V1. This is our ARC-210. If your ARC-210 is in preset mode, um, as I change the channels here, you can see it'll show us our channel we're in at the top. If we are in manual mode, then you will see the manual frequency. You can also change the frequencies and channels with the upfront controller. Let's say I want to talk on frequency 135. I would type in 135 here and then click COM1 and then you can see it changed it up there. If I switch back to preset mode, I can type in a channel that I want to talk on. Let's say I want to do ten channel 12. I just type in 12 and then click COM1 and now I'm on channel 12. There is also the COM page on the left here. If you go to your COM page, you can go to ARC210 presets. You can change all the presets from here too. You can click the next button at the top and previous to go to the different pages. Then you can use the up and down arrows to switch through the different preset channels. You can click the mod button to change between FM and AM. The RT button doesn't do anything. You can change the frequency by typing in the frequency to the UFC here. Let's say I want 239 and then I click the frequency button and you can just see I changed the frequency to 239. You can also change the name. You can come here to your keyboard and type a name in. I'll just type in A, B, C, D. Then you can click the name button and you can see I just changed channel 9 to A, B, C, D. Okay, that's the ARC-210 and now let's go to the top radio and the A10C. So I'm in the original A10C now. You can see it has a different top radio here. This top radio is similar to the bottom one except that the bottom one is a VHF FM and the top is a VHF AM. Off is off, transmit receive is on, DF is direction finder, it doesn't do anything. This is the preset channel knob. There are 20 preset channels. Once again, you can adjust the preset channels in the cockpit or in the mission editor. This is the volume knob. The T-tone switch doesn't do anything. Then there's the frequency switch here. Emergency FM and AM are emergency guard frequencies. Man allows you to manually select the frequency you want to talk on. Preset allows you to talk on a preset channel. Load allows you to load frequencies into channels. If you want to talk on a manual frequency, you put the power switch to TR. You put this switch to manual and then you put in the frequency you want to talk on. If you want to talk on a preset channel, you put this to preset and then you choose the channel you want to talk on. If you want to load a frequency into a channel, you put this switch to manual, then you type in the frequency you want to load in, then you choose the channel you want to load the frequency into, and then you click the load button. You can change the preset frequencies for all the radio channels in the mission editor by clicking on the A10 and then clicking this tab right here, and then you can change all the frequencies right here. Thanks for checking out this tutorial and I'll see you later.